So this week we did some trailer loading with everyone. Bueno's only been on a trailer one other time, and that was the day we picked him up, um, and he wasn't weaned and he wasn't halter broke, so we basically just chased him on. So he's never formally been taught how to load. So I wanted to take a video to show you his progress and how he did and how I go about training them. So the first thing I want to get him good with is leading by me on the ground without rushing. You can see he rushed through that space there a little bit quickly. So I'm putting him between me and the wall. So it's putting him through a tight area and I want him to just lead through there nice and quiet with no anxiety and he's really quite good about this. So I want to just be able to pick up on the rope really lightly. I don't really want to have to send him through. I'd rather just be able to lead him through with that rope and he does really well with this. He's been doing really great in his groundwork so I didn't think that would be a problem. Now there's two main ways you can teach a horse to load. Um, the first one would be pressure and release to lead them onto the trailer with you standing on it and the second would be pressure and release from the ground to teach them to self-load basically. So for Bueno and for most of my colts, I like to try to lead them on the trailer. And you can see he's a little bit nervous there. So what I'm doing is just picking up on the rope, waiting for him to take a step, and then releasing any pressure that I have on the halter. And he actually did very well with this. He was on the trailer much quicker than I expected because he is a little bit anxious. And our trailer is very loud when you step into it. So I did think it would take him a lot longer, but he went on fairly quickly. So I'm just going to change the view here so you can see what I'm doing inside the trailer. So I pick up on the rope and I just hold the pressure. I don't increase it. I just hold it steady and I wait for him to take one step forward, either with a front foot or a back foot. There's a nice try with a front foot and a second foot and I just leave him alone. And he decided he was going to jump right in much quicker than I thought he would, but then he panicked and he went flying back off. Now, I left this in because I wanted you to see the situations that you can run into when you're teaching colts to load. So I just went right back to it. He just scared himself. It's loud in there and he wasn't used to it. So I just went right back to the pressure and release. I sped this up because I didn't want to take it out. I wanted you to see how much time and patience you might need to have with a colt, but I just sped it up so that we could get through this video a little quicker. There was a good try. So when he puts that foot in the trailer, I release all pressure and I don't rush. The biggest thing that I see with people is that they get one foot in the trailer and they get excited and then they make the horse keep coming. And to the horse, he's not going to understand that. So he understands that when he puts a foot in, all the pressure goes away. But if you put a whole bunch more pressure on because you get excited for him to load, he's going to panic and go flying backwards. So as soon as he steps up, he's looking around. I just have a nice big loopy rope there, putting no pressure on his head. And then letting him kind of come down and relax. And then I'll go to ask for a back foot. Now, I'm going to ask very lightly on the rope for that back foot. I'm not going to pull hard because if I pull hard and he pulls against me, he's liable to smash his face on the top of the trailer and I've seen that many times. So I only suggest that he comes in and most of the time if they've got two front feet on, they'll come on pretty easily. I'm letting him sort of hang out a little bit. I'm trying to get him to come off slower and easier. As you can see, that didn't work the second time either. So we're going right back to it. I won't accept this as a successful lesson if he's rushing off the trailer. Coming off is just as important as loading on. So again, I sped this up. So you can see all the little bits and all the patience that it sometimes takes to get these guys on. And I do have like a full length clip at the end of this where I just leave it play for the whole length. So I'll run through that in a little while. Again, just letting him hang out and look around. This can be very boring for people who may not have a lot of patience, but it's super important. So he took a step back. I'm just going to put that pressure back on the halter. 
He's still got one foot up. I'm just going to ask him to put some weight on that foot. There we go. Now we've got two feet up and I leave him alone. Now I'll start to suggest that he brings a hind foot closer. He brought that hind left closer, so I gave him a release. He brought the front left closer, gave him a release, and then I pick the rope up and ask again. There's another foot. Every single time he steps forward, he gets a release. That's super important. Now I'll ask again. There was a foot and another foot. I'm asking again, and here comes the back foot, and he's kind of being silly now. He's just resting that back foot up there, but quickly he figures it out that he'll just come on in. He's not too worried about loading, but when he's in there, it's very loud, so he does have some anxiety, and he wants to get off as fast as possible, so that's what we work on next. So I just stepped him forward and I sped this up a little bit again. I'm just asking him to rest and relax without turning around. So once he's been standing there, I've been petting him, he's licking and chewing, I can tell that he's starting to relax. He's looking around a little bit. I'm not asking him to walk around too much. I just want him to relax and then I will slowly ask him to turn around. Now the biggest thing that if you have a horse that panics when they get on the trailer, you do not want to get in their way because they will run you over. So what I'm trying to do here is get him to turn away from me so that if he bolts, I'm not in front of him. And I always, always, always use a super long rope for this. I cringe when I see people trying to load a horse with like a three or four foot rope because if they bolt, take off, they're gone. You don't have control of them anymore. So if he wants to run off the trailer, I can hold on to my rope and I still have control of him. So he did pretty good to get off the trailer that time, but I did load him one more time. I wanted to work on it again. So what I'm showing here is that I'm just holding the pressure and I'm actually going side to side because some horses will learn to brace the front legs and so they'll just plant their legs and they'll brace their chest muscles and you can't get them to untrack. But if you pull them sideways, they'll untrack and you can give them their release. So again, just waiting on him, not pulling super hard right here, just suggesting that he walks forward. He walked forward with a hind foot. I gave him a release. And he's very quickly realizing that it's not so scary to be on the trailer. I'm suggesting again, two more feet. And you can see my hand is not really wrapped around the rope very tight. I'm really being light when he's got his front feet on that trailer because I do not want him to rear up and hit his face. giving him nice long breaks for doing the right thing. Just holding that pressure there, waiting for him to make a decision. Good boy. Now again, I'm just going to pet him, let him relax, and we're going to try to get off the trailer as smooth and slow and relaxed as possible. I do think it's important when you're practicing, I do think it's important to practice trailer loading in situations where you've got the time and you can load them and unload them, load them and unload them so that they know when they get on there, they're not going to be stuck on there for hours or days or forever. They don't, they don't know. They have no idea when they're going to be able to come off. So it's nice to be able to put them on and take them right off just to practice that in their minds. Now I'm going to ask him to turn on the trailer nice and slow and stop before he gets off. So that was really nice. He stopped there. He's waiting on me. I'm going to ask him to wait until I ask him to come down. So he's doing really good there. Nice and patient and relaxed. I'm going to step down and I'm going to ask him to come off nice and slow. That was really good. And he just stands there with me. So 
So I ended it there that day. I think he could use a couple more sessions, but he did fairly well, so I was happy with that.